What's going on everybody? Dave back again and today we're going to be taking a look at the RE100 Gun EZ. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a little while since I've ended up doing an unboxing and I'm kind of stoked on this. I have a bunch of other ones that ended up coming in so we're going to do those, knock those out and I'm going to do a live stream build on this guy and then we'll actually do a review on it. So you've got the artwork on the front, on the side, the opposite side and well nothing on the bottom. Here we are with the instruction booklet. You've got the same artwork on the cover as you do on the box. Some information about the suit itself. You've got the layout of the runners. On page three, you get the layout of the kit itself of how to build it. Page four and five, you get the build up of the chest. Six and seven, you get continuation of the chest. You get the building of the head. You get the building of the arms. Page eight, you get the building of the waist. Page nine, you get the beginning of the legs. And this is a RE100, so it's a super easy build. All of the grommets are pretty much the same. 10 and 11 is continuation of the legs, assembly of everything, and beginning of the weapons. 12 and 13 is going to be continuation of the weapons, how to put on the effect parts and the beam shield. 14 and 15 is going to be how to place it onto the base. I've never actually seen any of their instructions be this dark. It almost looks third party as far as the instructions on here. You get the layout of all the stickers on the back of the instruction manual. You get some pose shots on here. You get the colors to be able to paint it. You get one small sheet of foil stickers and you get one small sheet of regular stickers. Runner A, you get this uh, light olive green that's on here. You get some clear parts. You get heads, some waist parts, arms, uh, chest parts on here. And it's actually uh, pretty good. I like the fact that it has a already like soft and matte finish to it. So not bad on that. B1, you get two of. This is gonna have some waist parts, leg parts, arm parts. Runner C1, you're gonna have one of, and this is gonna be in that brown color that they're very fond of. D2 is gonna be just duplicate parts that are needed from C1. Runner D1 is gonna be in a deep navy color, and you're gonna have the hands and uh, some accent parts on here. Runner E1, you get two of, and these are gonna be in a deep navy color you get some joints accents vents and feet on here runner f1 this is going to be for the bazooka runner g is going to be another runner in that brown color and this is going to be for the rifle the polycap runner is pretty standard with all of these re kits and you should have some left over i suggest saving them because you can use them for other projects the beam shield effect parts on here is pretty nice pretty bland on the back side but it doesn't look too bad on here runner h is going to be your pink parts and so you get two thin beam sabers on here and then you get this beam it almost looks like a fan this reminds me of uh, the part that came with the master grade which was it uh from build fighters and here's everything that came in the box you get the box you get a pile of runners you get an instruction manual you get some stickers as usual with all my videos there will be links down in the description to be able to pick this up i want to thank you guys all for tuning in and stick around because we'll be doing a live stream on this build as usual youtube i appreciate each and every one of you thank you for coming and hanging out with me and i will see you guys all in the next video peace out youtube